So today on Paddy Wagon Travels, we're gonna be changing my inline water filter. Fine with the RV. I've already turned off the water outside. Let me take you over here so you can see. The uh, inline water system is right here. So you can see it. Uh, let me see if I get a good picture there. That's the inline water system. And sadly, there's a little bit of a leak. Um, and I think it's either because it's not too tight or, you know what, it may be because um, I haven't changed the filter since I've owned the RV. Well, one of the things that they didn't show me is how to do that. So, uh, going to YouTube, there's no real resources. So, I guess this video maybe will serve to help some other folks. So, hang on because we're going to get ready to change this. Alright, some of the tools I think you're going to need is going to be this which I understand is the crank that helps to change or loosen the fitting. And then you're going to need a new water filter. So, yeah. So considering how I've never done this before, I'm sure I'm going to make a mess. So I also have a towel, which I'm going to put down here to hopefully catch any excess water that... Uh, I uh, um, I end up spilling as a result of this change, and I got to tell you guys, there's no space down here, so um, especially for my big old my big old hands, and I don't want to dislodge anything else down here, so I'm trying to be as careful as I can. So let's go, let's do it. No time like the present. All right, how in the world? Okay, I guess that goes in with this. Good Lord have mercy. Oh my God. Okay. I guess righty lefty, righty loosey, lefty tidy. <laughs> righty tidy, lefty loosey. Righty tidy, lefty loosey. So I guess I need to go the other way with this. There's just no space. There literally is no space under here to put in this thing. So I wonder if I'm just going to have to do it with my hands. That may be the reason why it's leaking. Bear with me here, guys. All right, guys, we're going to keep going here because I still haven't gotten this loose. And it looks like my battery died on my extra light. So I don't have extra light in here. So, oh well. Sometimes we just have challenges we got to deal with. And this just happens to be one of those times. You can't snug this really tight up here because of the wires. So I'm going to try and get through here if I can. Let's see what's blocking me here. Oh. Well, that's no good. Now, we're going to try and, oh, got it, all right, so that's good, now, the goal is to get this thing off of here without, Filling lots of water, but that's okay because I expected to have water from it. I just want to get electrocuted with all these wires down here. And there's a lot of them. So, well, there we go. Hmm. All right, guys, so very interesting. There is no filter in this, which doesn't surprise me, Fleetwood and General RV. Thank you so much for your amazing pre sale 
course, it's my own damn fault because I should have checked. But you know what? There's so many systems to check when you're uh, when you're buying an RV. Sometimes you don't remember. And in this case, I didn't. So let me just dry this water up here. Put this towel down. Let's see here. Okay. Okay, guys, here is the inside of this. Let me turn on the light so you can see it. Yeah, it's pretty nasty in there. Not as bad as I thought it was going to be, though. So we're going to clean this up, we're going to put the filter in, and then we're going to reinstall it. <laughs> okay. One step first, though. All right, so before I get ready to reinstall this, I'm going to lube up the seal a little bit with some Vaseline. So I'm not going to do a lot, but just a little. Kind of hard to do this while filming, so you have to bear with me here. But I think a little Vaseline will help with the seals. And just a little bit more on there. Stop any leaking because there's a little leak that's coming out of here. I don't know why. I thought there was a filter in here, and I thought maybe the filter was clogged, causing some issues, but there's no filter in there at all. So I don't know. I have no idea why there's a little leak, and it was on there pretty tight. So let's put this back in and let's get ready to reinstall. All right, I'm going to go ahead and start the reinstalling here. Hopefully my light will come back on. I have a little extra light. And get this thing in here somehow. All right, back to this damn thing again. All right, let's see. I'm gonna try and get this in here so we can tighten this up. Make sure I'm not repeating any wires here. All right, that's as tight as I'm gonna get it. All right, Bob, turn it on. All right, so far so good. Okay guys. I don't think we're having any trouble. So far, so good, I think. Good. Okay, everybody, so I wanna say thanks for joining me today as I replace the Shoreflow Watts water filter in my 2018 Fleetwood Surge E450 chassis. Whew, it was a job. Um, those tight spaces, man. And I got these big old hands and arms. It's hard to get those in those tight spaces. But anyway, we did. And uh, so far, so good. The water's been pressurized now for an hour and there's been no leaks at all, which is nice. And so I think tightening up the in and out uh, intakes and outputs 
uh, helped. And I think putting, maybe putting the water filter in helped too, I don't know. There was no water filter in there, but that was nasty. So I have to make sure that I do that uh, more often and clean it. So, um, but thanks for joining me today. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed and I'll see you on the road.